What is up, guys? I'm Zuff. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time. Today we're coming back at you with Season 1, Episode 2 of The White Lotus. This one is called New Day. Um, last episode, we started off with a bang. It was really good, really interesting. I kept saying all episode, it reminded me of American Horror Story. It was giving me some creepy... At- um vibes like i don't know i don't it was just so weird i all this whole the whole time i thought something was gonna happen like something bad was really gonna happen and it just nothing really happened i guess the lani or laney did have was having a baby in the office which is insane i hope the doctor got there so i think she might be okay but all we know is someone dies at, at the white lotus hotel and um our guy at the beginning is is by himself uh in the, like the future and also i f- found out who that guy was he was in the office he was one of the interns that came in and dated aaron i forget his name again but he was there and that's what i knew i knew him and that's what it was from i, I kept stressing in the first episode how weird i thought it was but not in a bad way at all like just different and how the people were acting different in particular, Jennifer Coolidge's character, how she was like so distraught. Belinda. Yeah. Be- well, that's she, the girl. Yeah, that, yeah, she loves Belinda now. Yes, yeah, she was super like just. Apparently, it was her mother passing. She has her ashes. Seem like she's lost right now. Like mentally not there. The way she was talking yeah. was like slurred. Her voice was like slowed down. But after that miracle, uh, it wasn't even a massage. It was I forget what she called it. Something I, like yeah, with the know. neck or something. But it fixed her and now she is like looking for belinda she's obsessed with belinda yeah looking at pictures of her in like that book yeah it's really weird actually all of the storylines are kind of weird though at the at the moment at least like there's the family that's here like the dad who thinks that he has testicular cancer uh which i'm i'm hoping that they give us the answer to that in this episode cuz last episode let the doctor called but then he wasn't there anymore so they didn't get an answer uh that's also like sydney sweeney's character's dad and those two girls are just bullies it looks like but the one girl like her friend it was there was some weird stuff going on with her like she they were both checking this yeah. guy out and it looked like he worked at the hotel or something and then uh sydney sweeney's character went inside and she like asked her, the other girl about it, and then the other girl pretended like it, there was no dude. Like I'm actually really curious about that. It just seemed very, very strange. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like we keep saying that over and over again that, that the show was weird, but I don't know. It was super, super odd. All right, guys. With all that being said, we're gonna go right into this video. If you do like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got the picture on the Discord and all of our social medias. Make sure you follow those and send us some stuff to the address at the very bottom of the description. That is our PO box. We do mail time on the channel, so make sure you check that out. And yeah, we'll catch you guys in season one, episode two of The White Lotus, New Day. Let's go. Jeez, dude. They could probably find drugs here. I have weed. Didn't we Ow. see something like with drugs at the end? Like she has all this shit. I think that might have been a preview. She got some weed. She brought that on the plane. It's not very much. Probably not smart, right? What am I talking about? Apple. I threw it in last minute. What? <laughs> Is that a dab rig? No. That wasn't much. What is the point of that? That was lame as shit. You think she's high now? That, oh, she's <laughs> actually. Right. Yeah, right. Blows smoke in her face. She's like. <laughs> tweakers. What? I don't like taking them though, because then I can't sleep and I get all jittery. Oh, well, I'm. <laughs> is this supposed to be. Oh, <laughs> Xanax. Oh. I think this is satire, bro. Okay. Like, there's no way they're being serious. We don't have any drugs. Oh wait, but what about all these drugs that we do have? Yeah! I mean, just reeks, right? Yeah. Like it just there's no like he doesn't have he doesn't have cancer probably. Cancer. Oh, let's yeah, go. let's go. Congrats. What? Is something on fire? Yeah, the fucking dank ass weed we're smoking. What's going on, Alfani? Who's money? Oh, really, dude? Are, are you okay? 
I was criticizing her all day, and she was in fucking labor. And you also just didn't remember her name, so like, I don't know. You are five years sober. Oh, shit. Don't mess with that. You were always going to get it together, okay? You still got some gas. Five years okay? sober, he's definitely going to break sobriety mm -hmm. in this show. I hope not. That'd be sad. What is it? Yeah, I just got an offer to do a piece. Ah, you're on a honeymoon. Fuck that. Is that a YouTube and uh -oh. called Zuff? Campaign. And then you took the five winners to Burning Man in the <laughs> an electric RV that can actually hover above the ground. <laughs> 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 Away. Well, no. Well, thank you. I can't say no. He's such a cock. Yeah, man. He doesn't give a fuck about her career, bro. You did those jobs for go. Now you got it. I don't know. I hate to like blow your mind, but your situation has changed. Like, you don't need to do anything. I don't know if she even plans on staying with you anymore, bro. Uh-uh. Well, turns out she probably doesn't, huh? Yeah. I wouldn't. I mean, he was right, we, we found out. Okay. Okay, so, yesterday you said that we paid for the room that we have, but actually we did pay more money. Let's give him a refund, I guess. I assure you, your mother is only paying the rate for your current room. It's a lie, though. You guys made a mistake. Okay, so just... Just don't open your mistake. It's all I'm asking. Well, if there's been a mistake, I do apologize. I'm so very... Thank you. Um, mistakes happen. You know. Was that really 90 minutes? Because, I mean, God, it, it felt like 10. I think he fell asleep. <laughs> oh my god. That I was on the top of this beautiful mountain range in Asia. Oh, that's cool. pill. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. And I just... Listen. Yeah. I want to hear the rest of that story. You could have dinner with me at the hotel tonight. Come on, because I woke up this morning and I swear to god I felt better today than I've ever felt in my life and I just really... doesn't really like it when the staff interacts with the guests in that way. What do you mean? You can't have dinner? It would be unusual. Thank you so much for the invitation. I really appreciate it. It's absurd. You can have dinner. Who do I talk to? I'll talk to Armand, and I'm sure it'll be fine. So odd, I dude. Everything. Fine. Yeah, I know. She's the weirdest, for sure. I mean, like a couple minutes after seven at the at the restaurant. So right when you when you <laughs> clock out, you're going straight to the restaurant. Doesn't even talk. Was your age. My dad died. Wow, what a fucking icebreaker there. Put that switch down. <laughs> Two never got the chance to know each other. Yeah, could I um, save my game so I don't lose my score? <laughs> yeah. What is he playing? He's like a real alpha. You know, he's tough. He's tough on me. I worship him. Good man. You know, when I thought I had cancer, I told myself you mean yesterday. <laughs> you mean yesterday? Literally 24 hours ago. Got to make the most out of every moment. You know, we've got to make the most out of every moment. Yeah, both with each other. Okay. To get certified in scuba. No. Ah. Uh, ah. No. Like eight hours in the eight hours. Yeah, but then we get to go out in the ocean, Dad. That's gonna suck so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I would not be happy about that. Uh oh. <laughs> Rachel, I'm Nicole. I know. Can I, uh, do you mind if I... Please. Yeah, thank you. 
She's a big fan. I think she'll be nice, right? She's not a mean lady. Wonder what her problem's gonna be. I think everybody's gonna have a problem. What's your career crisis? Oh, I don't know. Um, it's a long story, but. Uh, she could maybe give her some good advice. Gravitational pull is gonna like just suck me in, and um, like you'll become a moon to his planet. Okay, yes, that's a good, I really know. good analogy. Ever, but also like myself. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. May I ask? Did you sign a prenup? Yes. There's like a structure to it and a time component, and it's quite complicated. But basically, no. And I think you've got to be really careful. Yeah, dude. You've got to keep your own orbit going. Also, I feel like relying on someone like that, they could like manipulate you and like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm a journalist. <gasps> Amazing. Yeah. Good outlet. I'm freelance, so all over. Actually, I wrote a profile about you. I mean, not just you. Uh, also, you know, it was um, ten power women in the. I read that. <laughs> Rushi doesn't well, like she it. hated it, yeah. You're kidding. I don't think she liked it. A fucked up piece. Oh. What? What? Yeah, I remember that. That was a hatchet job. <laughs> Got my promotion because of optics. She rode the Me Too wave. Whoa. <laughs> Some kind of Machiavellian Gorgon using the victimization of the other women in my company just to further my own craven ambitions. Oh no. This was not how I thought it was going to go. Basically repurposing the profile of you from the post. Well, then that's bad journalism. Damn, that is kind of bad. I mean, I climbed a hellish ladder on my own, working my ass off. I didn't ride some wave. And for that, I'm gonna get you killed. This week. I'm sorry that you didn't like the piece. I don't know what else to say. Holy fuck, dude. This is bad. Well, have a nice vacation. Have a nice vacation, Rachel. Yeah. Yeah, have a nice vacation. <laughs> That's not good. Someone you like idolize and really respect and look up to. Oh. Oh my. They're taking drugs out. Yeah, they snorted some white powder and now they're tripping. Yeah, they're me. they're being wild. Thank you for bringing me here. You have no idea how. Wipe your nose. Your mom? Jennifer Coolidge. Ah! Uh... Oh, pretty. I've never seen you this close. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh, oh dude. God. This lady's already a weird lady. If if you were messed up on drugs, she'd probably be terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Bunch of ashes that I need to throw in the ocean. I'm just looking for the perfect spot. They haven't even spoke yet, I don't think. She's just throwing this shit on them. She was in bad shape for a very long time, and uh, she loved the ocean. It's a trauma dump? Is that what they call yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you could say that. It's a heavy lot. You know, I just don't think... Do you think they'll say anything? ...toss the ashes right there on the shoreline like that. Why no. She just splashes you won't be able to do that. It would be like littering. <laughs> <laughs> These shots are crazy. We got we gotta go. Yeah. We have to pee really, really bad. I know I have to pee, but I'm not I, I'm holding <laughs> Well Have a nice day, girl. Hey! Uh oh. No, the drugs in there? 
Hundred percent, the drugs are in there, bro. She does that. That those drugs. Found this on the beach and gave it to me. I was gonna put it in the lost and found. What, no tag. No. <sighs> You're right, boss. I'm busy. Anything else? No. He's gonna do it. The drugs. Yeah, he's sober, huh? Keeping that one for oh, yourself. Oh man, dude, that's not good. The one girl's gonna have a panic attack now. The music in the show is insanely I know. good. Oh, I, I think insane is also a proper word. Yeah, it gets it is so crazy. like loud and intense at moments. I love it though. I do really like the music. I don't know if there's like a theme to it or if it's just like background music. Puts me in a trance sometimes. Are they just fucked up on drugs running around? Oh no, they're, they're looking for the drugs. What the fuck I mean, is happening there, bro? Just think about it. They're looking at each other. I think it's more than... I don't know, dude. This shit gets, gives me so much anxiety, this show. I don't know why, either. Probably because I don't know what's going on. Or what to expect. Like the music, you know what I mean? Yeah. Wondering if someone's turned it in or... I can check in the office. Okay. There's a lot of important things in there. I'm sure. I'll take a look. Is he gonna give it up? No. There are just lines of shit on the table already. Bro. That outfit and hair combo. Why does she lie about not knowing this guy? Maybe Sydney Sweeney's just gonna get re like really jealous. You think she's gonna be pissed, Olivia? Yeah. You ever thought about starting like your own business? Come on. <laughs> Lucas, I would be down for funding something like that. What? <laughs> you have a beautiful family. <laughs> She's a wild card, bro. She will. I don't know what the fuck she's gonna do ever. I was in agony yesterday, and I woke up this morning, and I had no pain at all. An appointment, of course. Yeah. If she's not booked with me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. I can't. I can't. My skin's crawling. Why? It's so awkward. Mom, what are you doing? Your brother is gonna suffocate if he sleeps in the kitchen. Perfect. This is fine. You sleep here. You Bro, just be nice. There's gonna be some kind of weird shit. They've been making such a big deal out of him sleeping <laughs> out here. Like, <laughs> what? We don't want you in here. Fine. I'll just. Sleep on the fucking beach. Dude, I feel so bad for him. Oh, Hello. oh, they're gonna call back and be like, oh, okay, never mind. Yay, Uncle Charlie. <laughs> bad news. It's gonna be bad news. Thought I might have cancer. Cancer? No. Yeah, no, I but I don't. I'm fine. There's nothing to worry about. But um. Oh, that's good. Mark. Good. Yeah, we're going to get bad news here. Answer that killed him. Well, man, your dad didn't have cancer. What? He, he didn't? I, I thought Wait, sure. what? How would he not know? What?
What? How did I not know this? Wow. Your dad didn't want anyone to know. And you were young. Your mother couldn't handle it. Well, what by having sex with men? Damn, bro, he's learning a lot right now. Just the most insane conversation to have on the phone while you're on vacation. What was that? Something. Not sober anymore. Is Quinn okay? No, I don't think so. I feel bad for him. What does he see? Well, oh my gosh. You can see them all the time down in Hawaii. Don't tell me he goes in the water. What are you gonna go try to pet it? No. Didn't know what was going on in the first episode. Don't know what's going on in this episode either. Uh, just a lot of really awkward interactions, really strange conversations being had. Uh, I don't know. Th this episode just continued the, the pattern of making me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, I think we may be getting like like slow character development in and like just getting to know everyone and I like you said I think all the stories are gonna end up in one spot someone's gonna freaking snap but I think we are getting to like just know everybody slowly but we can't go too slow we're, one more episode we're halfway done with the season which is apparently all these characters are in so like shoot we gotta get going but I was just thinking like how funny it would be if there was just like some crazy like meaning behind everything and it's just going over our heads and we just are like these people are fucking weird yeah i mean i honestly don't think that's the case no. i just think like it's, it's very mm -hmm. very awkward right now and i don't get half the stuff that's happening like i mean i didn't really see like understand anything about uh the end maybe it was, the end is like quinn like appreciating the ocean because his dad wanted him to go and he didn't want that weird know. way to end the episode i feel really bad for quinn though yeah he's definitely my favorite I, character I honestly feel for real mm -hmm. but yeah this show i mean weirdly enough i don't know anything that's going on but i'm still loving it right now i i think it's gonna all lead towards one thing six episodes like how are we gonna get all this done like someone dies our man our frack boy guy was back in town, freaking someone was dead and his wife wasn't with him. I mean, at this point I could see our boy Armando, one of my favorites going off and maybe doing something irrational. Like he just started taking drugs and he's been sober for five years. And we don't know what he's like off the drugs. He could have been an animal. So like he has a lot in front of him too. I'm sure he'll take a lot of them. So either he's gonna like, I mean, he could easily OD or something with that many drugs, 100%. Or what if he just starts going on a killing spree? Well, that's what I'm saying, too. And I don't know about a spree, but, like, what if he just goes freaking off the walls and just starts doing... I mean, maybe it's, like, on purpose they've been showing. He, like, pretty much handles everything at this hotel. Like, he is a pivotal, crucial member of this mm -hmm. crew. Like, he does everything. He answers all the phone calls. Even one was pouring champagne or whatever mm -hmm. or of Shane. Like, I don't know. He does everything. So I think if he's out of line, then that's going to reflect on how the hotel operates. And it's already like, it's good, but obviously there's been certain things like how the dad and Quinn wanted to do activities and there was nothing available. And Shane isn't able to get his room like it's already like some, there's already some things but it's, it's not perfect this hotel so w with him going down this path I can't imagine what it's yeah. gonna be like tomorrow I think one of the craziest scenes was when Alexander Alexander Daddario was talking to the mom the the what the Mossbacher mom Melissa is that her name yeah I think so it was 
going so well until she brought up the journalist in the article she wrote about her, and then she completely switched. Melissa like, started shitting on her. I feel like they're trying to emphasize that all these people have their own perspectives, and they all are maybe going to view each other in different ways. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It, it definitely emphasize that for a reason more I, I forget the girl's name but olivia's friend she yeah i don't even fucking i don't know what the fuck's going on with that is it just gonna be olivia getting like really if jealous? it's just if it's just her hooking up with a guy that's it like what is going on here like i mean they don't i mean i could be misreading them but they don't seem like they have too much going on for them i mean they do read like books and they were trying to have some political discussion but after some of those beach scenes with the drugs, I mean, I don't think they're thinking too much about uh, stuff, so I don't think they're doing anything besides that, honestly. Mm -hmm. That scene with the dad finding out about his dad, it's crazy. Yeah. He thought his dad died from cancer. He died from AIDS. He had this whole other life where he was having sex with men. And I just feel like, uh, I don't know if it came across clear during it because we had to all of us talking i think but i just think from his perspective like he was like i said he was just talking up his dad to his son and saying how he's an alpha male and he probably had his own idea of alpha male in his head you know what i mean like i'm sure his dad was still like an awesome guy and all this stuff but i, I saw it as like he he's he was like yeah i'm so upset that I, you never got a chance to know my dad like my dad was my hero he but he didn't even know his dad he didn't even know his dad like yeah. his dad was just this whole other person like in reality he just only knew half of his dad essentially <laughs> I mean, he didn't know for a really that's long that's crazy time. and what a, he has to be what like, is wrong with charlie for to just tell him like that uncle charlie oh yeah your dad actually died this way and he actually on did this vacation, like, right after she, he said he was what? on vacation in hawaii obviously it was like a secret like obviously it wasn't public knowledge what why did he just drop it on him like that that's insane he said he thought he already like he would have found out by now i guess if you guys like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe check out our links in the description we got the patreon the discord and all of our social medias make sure you follow those and send some stuff to the address at the very bottom of the description that is our po box we do mail time on the channel so make sure you check that out we'll catch you guys next time for season one episode three of the white lotus until then